One can't go too far into a church building without noticing the central feature of the sanctuary, and that is the altar. So what is the significance of the altar? This has to be said clearly. The altar is the most significant, most central symbol in the church building. That's not to say that the tabernacle is not important, but for the celebration of the Mass, the center of all of the liturgical action, in fact, is the altar. We should always think of these three things together. Christ, who is the victim or the sacrifice. Christ himself, who is the priest offering the sacrifice. And Christ himself, who is the altar, the place of sacrifice. We can learn a lot simply from the way that the altar is given this meaning in the rite for the dedication of a church. It says, in essence, that when the ministers come into the church, they ignore the altar. The bishop, without kissing the altar, goes to the chair. So you see, at the beginning of the ceremony, the altar is completely ignored. There's no bow, there's no kiss, there's no reverence of the altar at the beginning, because at that moment, the altar is simply an object, a hunk of stone or a chunk of wood. It is only by virtue of the ritual of dedication that, the, that this inanimate object takes on new and permanent meaning. The very first thing that happens to the altar is the sprinkling of water. This is reminiscent of baptism, so there's a kind of washing of the altar. After the sprinkling with holy water is the anointing with the great oil of chrism. The oil is poured on the surface of the altar and rubbed in by the hand of the bishop. After the anointing, there's an incensing of the altar with the smoke rising, symbolizing our prayers rising to heaven. And then there's the covering of the altar with a white cloth, just like the white garment that is given to one who is newly baptized. After the clothing with the white garment, candles are brought, the, the altar is lit. Finally, we go into the celebration of the Eucharist. St. John Chrysostom has this remarkable comment about the celebration of the Eucharist for the first time on the altar. He says this, The altar is an object of wonder. By nature it is stone, but it is made holy after it receives the body of Christ. The parallel to Christian baptism is remarkable. In essence, the altar, like the Christian, is made another Christ. Imagine the altar is washed and anointed and clothed with a white garment and illuminated with candles. And finally, it receives, as John Chrysostom says, the Eucharist for the first time. That is why we bow to the altar. It has become Christ. That is why we incense the altar. The altar is Christ, this altar far from being an inanimate object, is now the permanent symbol of the presence of Christ for the Christian community.